So, first of all, a uh, little bit of the history. Uh, first time uh, Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine declared the intention of pan-European structures in July 93. After that, in June 45, we signed the partnership with uh, and cooperation agreement with uh, United uh, uh, <coughs> European Union, and it was the first agreement in uh, European Union with Ukraine, uh, and um, the ratification took almost for years, so it is one that entered into force only on March 80, uh, 98. Uh, after that, uh, when it was so, in 93 it began, began uh, in 80, uh, 98 it was the first agreement. After that, we have the new government and signed the association of agreement when our president escaped from the country, it was Yanukovych Viktor, and on September 16, 94, uh, Verkhovna Rada and the European Parliament uh, ratified the, uh, the document that uh, approved uh, that um, uh, Ukraine wanted to be a candidate to European Union. And uh, the last country it is signed, it was Netherlands in uh, 19, uh, two, uh, 2017. And uh, the agreement entered into force on September 1st, the 2017. In February uh, 2018, Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine uh, adopted the European Int Integration Amendments to the Constitution, and according to them, the preamble of the uh, Constitution of Ukraine, it is states that irreverse uh, irreversibility of Ukrainian and European ever Atlantic course. So we have this words and these sentences in our constitution and after that it's uh, we began to move uh, to the european union and uh, all verkhovna rada it is the parliament uh, cabinet minister of ukraine and the president do everything possible to ensure that ukraine uh, will have a full membership of the european union and the nato because it is uh, um, important uh, i need to say that um, uh, in uh, 2007, uh, uh, in Kiev, began a negotiation uh, about this association agreement, and um, it was uh, supposed to sign more uh, quickly uh, in uh, 2013. But after, but uh, the last minute, uh, Yanukovych he decided to put the process on hold, as everybody knows about this, and it was the main point when. Uh, uh, Began, begin, uh, started beginning this revolution of dignity in Ukraine when uh, the president he doesn't want to go to the on the road of the European Union. Um, as you know, as everybody knows, from uh, June 23 uh, to uh, 2022, Ukraine received the status of candidate for membership of the European Union, and in February 2023, President Volodymyr Zelensky he say, announced that. Um, he will do everything, and the parliament and the country will do everything to to be a full membership in two years. I, th I, I uh, we understand that it is important, it is impossible because it is uh, we have in other countries that they are candidate for United uh, European Union. Uh, the, we have Turkey, we have uh, uh, Georgia, so uh, Montenegro and uh, uh, in other countries. But uh, we, as as I see, uh, because I am like a, a citizenship uh, have a Ukrainian, and I see that they they are really really doing this, and um, mine will we have in the war time in uh, Ukraine. But uh, everything is doing uh, the the parliament and the other. <coughs> Uh, organs of uh, of state law, uh, state power is doing the, the best of uh, in this case. So, um, however, most p politicians say that the date is 2029, is the most earlier date to be a, a uh, <coughs> to be in the European Union. So, what is the conditions? As you see, we have seven conditions uh, to be a part of the European Union, and. Um, we need to do this uh, all seven uh, conditions till uh, in these two years, as wish uh, as wish our president. And uh, the first uh, this for, for reform the selection of judges of Constitution Court, and it is it is done. Uh, continue judicial reform, including integrity checks of members of the High Cons Council Justice and select candidates of the High Qualification Commission of Judges, and it is done in June, in May. So they are really going in fast uh, steps with this uh, condition of European accession, and uh, then continue the flight against corruption, and 
it is doing. Uh, appoint the heads of the specialist anti-corruption prosecutors officers appoint the national anti-corruption bureau continue the fight against money laundering and law enforcement they, this is a new law uh, today uh, tomorrow i uh, uh, yesterday i read about it that they want no cash in ukraine so the, if with, uh, with this uh, against corruption against laundry money laundering and uh, it is a law it uh, took uh, the uh, put this in the Verkhovna Rada, in the parliament. I don't know if they um, um, it will be, if they pass, so it will be, I don't know what will be in Ukraine, so that is the uh, false um, condition. Then, as you see, the inf of uh, oligarchs, influences of oligarchs, it is doing, bring media legislation in line with European individual legislation and amend the seventh amend legislation of minorities, minorities. So uh, it is necessary uh, So uh, implement that. We need implement 14 uh, European directives, uh, uh, as I know, and, uh, and the relevant uh, draft law are being actively developed in Ukraine and submitted. Every day they submitted one of uh, relevant law in uh, Ukraine because the parliament is working every day. And uh, they envisage increasing the transparency of government procedures, strengthening financial control, uh, fight against uh, fight against tax uh, evasion, so etc. So they're really working on this. And uh, on March 6, 2023, uh, after, the, uh, after the appointment of the NABU director of Prime Minister Denis Schmehar, they uh, said that Ukraine had implemented all seven U uh, European Union recommendations. And in January, the New Europe Center, in partnership with other specialist organizations, estimated the average level of compliance with Euro European U U requirements is 5.8 uh, 5 points. So, and in November, it was only four and seven. So it is really, uh, they are working on this um, uh, agenda. Uh, the procedure of accession of the European Union is the on the negotiation stage, so the uh, further negotiation process, the candidate states uh, has to adapt this national legislation to the Equis community branch for community property. Uh, so the, this consists of uh, 35 chap chap chapters and divided into six clusters, fundamentals, internal, internal market, competition, inclusive growth, green agenda and sustainable connectivity, resources, agriculture and cohesion, and uh, external relations. All this um, condition. The voting. Uh, it's interesting that um, a referendum in Ukraine's accession to the European Union will held in the near future, and all respondents, 92% uh, of the respondents, intended that they are go, they are wanted to enter to the European Union. Uh, as you see on this um, slide, on March 2021, it was only 59%. And uh, we have now 18 percent, 80 percent. So it is growing up all the day, and um, because uh, everybody understands that, uh, uh, I think the most part of the Ukrainians understand that uh, there is no uh, possibility to live in a good uh, condition with uh, the borders, with the uh, <laughs> neighbors, uh, neighborhoods of uh, our country. Uh, so, effect, uh, respondents uh, also highly evaluate the effectiveness of the country foreign policy in all areas. As you see, you can see this um, effective policy of string, uh, string relations with countries, 87%, 86% is the improving the international image of Ukraine, uh, expanding the circle of allied countries to, that support Ukraine. So, it is all uh, more than 80%. Uh, in, just now, f in 2023, of um, uh, effectiveness of the countries uh, co of, our, of Ukraine's uh, foreign policy. Uh, so this uh, seven recommendations, in a few words. Um, the first is, as I said, it was uh, about 
a reform of the Constitutional Court. It uh, began in, uh, in 13, as you see, 22. Verkhovna Rada adopted the law. It's on amendments of certain legislative acts of Ukraine on improving the procedure for selecting candidates for the position of judge of the Constitutional Court of Ukraine on a competitive basis. And uh, the new and the uh, the, the uh, new law is a constitutional court of Ukraine we have, and uh, after that all uh, all judges was um, adopted to this uh, constitutional court. So uh, so it is working now. The constitutional court is working in a, as 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 a, a normal way, so without any um, uh, restrictions. The second, uh, we have uh, uh, about, so it is the judicial reform we have because we have the ethic, uh, ethics, uh, it was on November, on November we have also ethics council which consists of Ukrainian international experts and uh, they, they are talking about how to, more, to make more effectively uh, our judicial system and um, this, um, this this ethic uh, council is helped to to uh, vote the, uh, about these judges. Then the second, uh, this is the Council of Justice we have, and it was, as I said, on June 1st, uh, 2023, we have, uh, it is working, uh, 16 uh, uh, justice uh, was uh, elected, and um, so the, uh, all this Council of Justice was completed. And it is, uh, as you see, it is cons uh, consisted of 21 members, but it is uh, uh, working with 16 members. So two uh, appointed by the president, two uh, by Verkhovna Rada of the parliament, uh, the Congress of Advocates, uh, then prosecutors conference. Um, and we don't have this uh, uh, one of the ch uh, chief justice of the Supreme Court and the, uh, from the school, from law school, from for example, it is possible for our university to be to have uh, to go to this uh, high council of, uh, of justice, and uh, they are um, the main point of this council that uh, it is uh, so it is um, it is working or it is deemed with competent at least when uh, there are 15 uh, members and elected so. And most of them, uh, or majority of them, are judges, and um, the term of the office uh, of the elected uh, High Council of Justice is four years. And the same person may not hold the position of a member of the High Council of Justice for two consecutive, uh, consecutive terms, so only two or consecutive terms. And um, it is interesting that at June, 8th of June, uh, 23, the High, uh, High Council of Justice was granted obs uh, like observer status in um, the European Network of Justice um, Councils of the General, As General Assembly of the European Network of the Justice Councils and made a decision to grant observer status of our council or to the High Council of Justice. So it is a big, big thing, I think, uh, that we uh, had now. Um, then the High Qualification Commission, this is another um, organ of judges of Ukraine, um, and it was interviewed 46 uh, judges uh, for the position of the member. And the High Council uh, appoint only 16 uh, members and these 16 members of the High Qualification Commission of the Judges of Ukraine are elected from the citizens of Ukraine. All, all at, um, and um, it is interesting that they need to have the legal uh, education and 15 uh, working uh, years of professional experience of the field of law. So it is most of all its judges in, in this uh, High Qualification Commission of Judges and it's all judges. Uh, so Two chambers, eight members, all, or every chamber they have, and they have, uh, as you see, we, they have equal, equal representation of members. 
The, high, um, the, the member of uh, this uh, high qualification commission of uh, judges of Ukraine, also the elected, by, appointed by Congress of Judges, by representatives of law schools or universities, and uh, uh, Kharkiv University, Kiev University, um, then the Congress of Advocates, the Ukrainian Parliament Commissioner for Human Rights, and the head of the State Judicial Administration of Ukraine. So, and they appointed these members of the high qualification of judges. The third point, the third um, obligation to Ukraine is to fight against corruption. So what we do, we do, we um, uh, uh, make an anti-corruption uh, organization uh, in prosecutor's office. And um, on February 20, Eight, March 2nd, 2023, the Competition Commission held interviews to determine whether the candidates met the competence criteria. On March 4, the selection committee held a meeting to consider the three selected candidates to the position of NABU direct director. And then March of 6, it was Krivovnoso, uh, and he, has, he is now a director of our NABU. And they are working very, very <laughs> quickly. Uh, all in all judges, in all prosecutors are looking for. So I know that uh, we imprisoned two judges now and one prosecutor. So it is really they are like I don't know. Uh, I can't say anything, but they are working, and they did uh, their job. To and um, um, so I think. If, if, if the situation will be the same, uh, it will be possible to enter this, uh, to the European Union. Um, the combating money laundering, it is uh, the, the main point of Ukraine, if in Ukraine, because I think in every country which, which uh, are going to the European Union. And um, so we have, uh, what we have a law about uh, on amendments to certain laws of Ukraine on protection of the financial system of Ukraine from actions of the state conducting armed aggression against Ukraine and adaptation of Ukrainian legislation to certain standards of the Financial Action Task Force on money laundering. So this is the, may, uh, the, the name of the law. And uh, um, what the main point of this law that uh, improved regulation and the supervision of special design primary financial monitoring entities and it is they are doing this now uh, and the recommendation of the financial action task force on money laundering so um, I need to say that uh, we have also uh, adopted this law about um, as you see uh, 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 on amendments to certain laws of Ukraine improving the regulation of Ultimate, uh, ultimate beneficial ownership and ownership structure of legal entities. And it is um, entered uh, only in December 22 the, and to enforce this law and improve the procedure for verifying ultimate beneficial owners uh, in, in Ukraine. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. Um, this is the main, uh, uh, main number of draft law which was um, adopted. Uh, the reform of the law enforcement sector, it is uh, beginning in 22. On January 11, 23, we have the meeting uh, of the, with the prosecutor, prosecutor general to draft comprehensive strategic plan for the law enforcement reform was approved. Uh, then we um, media reform, and we have a new law on media and the media, and uh, this guarantees independence of all the media regulator, and it is working. We, we really have uh, independent media, uh, if they want to be independent. Right? They do not want to, they need money, so they are not independent. So, but uh, we, we, there is no the country that we cannot talk. We can, not, we can talk about everything we want. But uh, now it is uh, we can talk. We don't. Uh, we cannot talk about the uh, about the Russia that uh, it is good that uh, he invading to Ukraine. So this is impossible. Uh, main innovation of um, the law. It's a lot. So it is about in all sectors of law. It is uh, about the violations of law of uh, rights. Uh, it is armed aggression about the Russian Federation that is separates into separate uh, block. So media, everything. 
And the last, what I want to say that it is interesting that um, the, uh, the minor minorities, because as you know, Transcapedia has a lot of minorities, Lviv Oblast has a lot of minorities, because Poland, uh, Moldova is the border of Ukraine, Hungary, Romania. So in, uh, as you see, we have a new law on national minorities uh, was adopted in Ukraine in 22. And the fact only in now, from July 1st, 23. And uh, the main point of this is that rights and freedoms of persons belonging to the national minorities. And uh, as, a, as I'm as a representing, representing of the my, national minorities, I, uh, it is, I think that it is the most uh, democratic country for the national minorities is Ukraine, really. We can talk uh, in what languages we want. We can uh, go to, for example, for, to Hungarian school, to Slovak school, and nobody says and uh, said nothing for us to, to us. Um, so <laughs> I have no time. Okay, and uh, um, also it is interesting that we have this. I don't know. Mm, okay. So I understand. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for, for your intention. <laughs>